This episode, we haven't done one of these in a long time. It's been a very, very long time since we've done a turbo build. Yep. For that reason, we're super pumped. For people that are new to the channel, this is a street legal dune buggy. His name is Carl. It is actually registered as a 1984 Renault. So because of that, it is completely street legal. It's also extremely slow. So we gotta fix that today. The fastest 0 to 60 we were able to accomplish with it was 18 seconds. 18 seconds. That was very, very slow. Our solution is sitting right there. Get a little turbo. All right, so this is our $100 eBay turbo we will be installing. Actually, it looks pretty nice. It is a KO3. We decided to go with the KO3 due to the smaller size. This engine is a 1100cc or 1.1 liter. For comparison, white lining, our boosted Miata over there is a 1.6, so this is even smaller than that. Extremely small. So we decided to go with the smallest turbo we could find on eBay, which we probably could have gone smaller, but guys, like, look at this. That's it, perfect size. Index finger for comparison. And for right now, we're gonna start fabbing up the exhaust to it. Enough talking, let's jump right into it, guys. All right, so this whole piping slash exhaust actually came from good old trusty white lightning over there before Gabe changed over a two and a half inch? Yeah. Two and a half inch exhaust. So we're using his old Miata. Recycling guys, recycling parts here. We're, so we're basically doing a turbo kit install for like less than 500 bucks. Yeah, that sounds about right. Less than $500, which is pretty cool. Yeah. See all this rust and dirt that's all on it? You can get better penetration whereas you got a clean surface whenever you're welding. Alright, now we're mocking up the exhaust so we know what to do next. We have most everything we need in the shape we want it. So now it's time to actually weld everything together. Alright, so just a little update. It has been a couple hours later, and we're having trouble. I'm having trouble on Gabe's Strata 2. Up here is okay. Over here, it's a crap show because the metals are so thin and the welder just burns right through it really, really fast. So it's been a pain in the ass. And so, literally, all I've been doing the past couple hours is filling in little holes, grinding it down. Fill them back in, grind them down, and then we should be done, in theory. Okay, time to make the flange. Is it a flange or flange? It's a flange. Time to make the flange. flange. The turbo did not come with a flange, so we're making our own, as you can see there. So we literally just went to the hardware store and bought a sheet of steel, which Zach just now cut. Now we just have to measure it, drill it, and uh, hope for the best. All right, 
right, so here's the deal. This is flange one we tried to make. It worked pretty good until Zach got to the part where we had to weld it. And then it became warped and bent really bad. So we had to step up the thickness of it. So Zach literally went and cut part of his bumper off right here. And as you can tell, we are actually working on a new flange currently, but our good old, not good old, our bad old $20 Harbor Freight drill, which is his number two, the first one we had to go get warrantied out, uh, it's not quite adequate to cut this hole. So, we're gonna have to, next episode, get a better drill so we can cut that. So we're kinda stuck on that part, but we did mock it up. Turbo looks great on there. This is what the piping looks like right now. So, Zach, welded and grinded the absolute crap out of this thing. And as you can see, it doesn't look half bad, so now we just need to paint it and whatnot. We need to knock out the flange, and then the hot side part of this build will be done. Woo! But before we leave you guys, we wanna go ahead and set up the FPR, and also show you guys how the oil lines are gonna work. So we do have a sandwich plate installed right there, as you can see, and we actually have a problem. Where's the oil filter at? So, really easy to fix, but the oil filter actually does not fit because there's a little cross member right there. So we're gonna have to cut that off. The feed line for the turbo is definitely gonna come from that sandwich plate. But we haven't decided if we're gonna put the drain from the turbo back to the sandwich plate. I don't know if that's a, the proper way to do it. We need to figure that out. We can do it. But if we can't do that, then we're gonna have to drill and tap the oil pan. So. Also not a problem. Also not a problem. Yep. So this right here is the fuel pressure regulator. It's going to force more fuel in at a certain ratio according to how much boost is being fed into the intake. And what this will do is allow us to run at somewhat of a safe air fuel ratio. Yeah, we're gonna tune it. Tune it, exactly. So this will be really the only way we have to tune it because good luck finding an ECU for this Chinese motor. All right, we're installing the FPR right now, cutting the return line. Like that, super easy install. We need to go back and install hose clamps once I have some, but it's just gonna sit. I'm probably putting this in the right direction. Let's hope. It sit right like that. Already Teflon tape over there. Yeah, yeah. Maybe wrong. We're gonna double check that, but just to demonstrate to you guys how it's gonna look. So, we've got the gauge. Did I already crack that? No, it's, it's like oil or something. That's interesting. There's yes. oil in there. This right here is a vacuum port. This is actually gonna tap into uh, somewhere, probably the engine, because I think it needs to see vacuum as well. So it needs to see vacuum and positive pressure. But super simple, all we gotta do is add two clamps and we're done with the fueling part of this video. This was like, dude, we've been spending hours on that. Like hours. This just took maybe two minutes. Well, if you no. have, I mean, we still got to put clamps on it, but that took yeah. like 30 seconds. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So, and then yeah, guys, let's go ahead and let's throw the exhaust on, and so we can get a visual of how the setup is going to look. We just have to get the flange done. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how it's going to sit, right about there. Obviously, our our compressor outlet is going to be shifted up. We're going to have to clock that to where it's pointing upwards, because right now it kind of hits a shock, but uh, we'll fix that. Uh, exhaust, technically where the, you would call it a down pipe. We're gonna make it an up pipe though. That's gonna come out right here. And since the turbo is sitting quite a ways away from the header, we are actually going to reinforce the turbo with this. This was actually the stock exhaust mount, kind of like reinforce the exhaust. So we might flip that, but we're gonna weld something from here to there to make sure the turbo has something else to sit on, basically. Because if we don't do that, knowing us with the amount of crazy driving we do, uh, be a matter of time before the turbo, the leverage of it just cracks everything, so. All right guys, I'm afraid that's it for this episode. It's getting late, we need to move on. I wish we could have got a little bit more done. This happened over two days, so since our welder was a little bit too powerful to weld through that stainless steel, always an exhaust pipe, and that set us back a lot. So it took us way too many hours than it should have to complete the header. But header is 90% done, now we just gotta do the flange, and it's moving along. So I know like, I know it looks like we didn't get much done because the turbo is not technically mounted. It's getting too late to go out and buy a drill, so we're gonna have to do that tomorrow. So next video, will turbo be officially mounted, and we're gonna start working on probably the downpipe and also intake. So if you're new here, hit the subscribe button because this thing should be boosted in less than five days.
should. Comment below how much power do you think this thing is gonna make? Let's find out. We'll see y'all next time. Peace. I wanna do it, I wanna do it. I can play in the water too.